Good evening. This is uh, the Sunderland Board of Selectmen meeting for Monday, January 8th, 2018, and it's so warm today, everybody was probably out in shorts compared to the last few days, right? So, <coughs> um, and we're calling to order right now. Um, we only have a couple of things on our agenda right now, I see here, but um, do we want to do our minutes first and then or do we want to dive right into the 120 North Main? We can do the minutes. It's just, yeah. it's all right. Motion on the uh, 12 18 minutes. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Maybe we'll save our board updates for afterwards, I think, maybe. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so we have the first up on our agenda is the 120 North Main Street RDI request to tie into the stormwater drain system. Dan, did you hear about that? And okay. the North Main Street reconstruction project update. <clears throat> so if I could, Mr. Chair, yeah. last end of last week, I uh, were contacted by uh, Valley CDC, and as they we get to the stage tomorrow night, we preface all this, tomorrow night there's an update meeting for the 120 North Main Street project downstairs here, I think 6 p.m. So anybody who's interested, come down, attend that meeting, kind of get involved in the nitty gritty as we know it to date anyway. So no big, no significant changes. There's a request to have Valley CDC's engineer, which is a Berkshire design, uh, talk with our uh, engineer who's working on uh, the 120 North Main. That's uh, John from CHA. And the request about the request is to exchange information about the existing stormwater system's capacity. Yep. And is there any opportunity to import stormwater either from paved surfaces or from roof lines, et cetera? However, the stormwater permit, you know, is going to be however the stormwater can be imported. The request came for two reasons. The first is we know that the I guess it's going to be the east side of that property headed out toward Buttonball is, yeah. is, is not really prime for adding any extra drainage. So the request, you know, the, yeah. <laughs> so the goal, the, the request, and I, I say that tongue in cheek, people who are close to the property are like, oh, this, you're not going to drain yeah. anything out there. Nope. Um, and our goal is to minimize the impact on that, that back lot for buffering reasons, for wetlands reasons, for a whole host of reasons. So when I was contacted last week by uh, uh, Laura Baker from Valley CDC, she asked if uh, we could act as a uh, connector between the two engineering firms so they could share numbers to understand the feasibility of any potential or any percentage of the project stormwater being imported to the North Main Street stormwater side. And because it's, it's on the state side of the fence and we're in the process of the design, um, I thought it would be a good opportunity to bring it to the board at this point. Mm -hmm. So that's the backstory. Then ask, I would suggest also that this is uh, another request, um, and I think if the board's uh, with the board's support, you know, shows continued support to both DHCD, the lenders, all those people behind uh, working behind the scenes at the 120. Uh, North Main, the senior housing project, about the town's commitment to its its uh, successful conclusion. So, oh. that's the request that's in front of the board. It's basically engineers talking to engineers. I do, however, suspect that uh, when engineers get together and talk, uh, Valley will will be assuming some costs, and we may well be assuming some costs as well. But I think mm -hmm. it was important to bring it to the board, not just have a phone conversation. Yep. No, that makes sense. Especially to get all the interested parties together Correct. at once. And I th that'll probably save time in the long run. Right. Yeah. So size, capacity, what the potential for import is, and what their actual ask is. That's not undetermined at this point. Yep. And then I guess what we what we can do, I guess, right, in terms Correct. of from a policy standpoint. Right. right? Yeah. Hmm. Again, if it's something that's got to get changed, it could be changed underground as part of the 120, as part of the North Main construction, but we're in the engineering phase right now. So if it's yeah. going to happen, can it? Will the state allow it? Yep. And what's the capacity to actually import more, if it's even possible? So that's a request that's in front of the board. 
little exploration. And again, I suspect, I don't know any of the hours associated, but I suspect at some point there'll be some additional engineering coming, requests coming forward. Hmm. All right. Just, just, so that would be deepening this, the storm drain on North Main Street. I don't know its elevations, Dan. And, and you know, if we're coming out 100 feet from wherever parking ends and driveway ends and all of that, I don't know. Uh, is it what, four to five feet? I don't even know. Where's the outfall? That's a great question. Now, I. I Under the bridge. As it's down there. Take, takes a left at School Street and heads out that way. Maybe this bridge to get under there. Okay. So, again. I, I, I don't know what the. I don't know what DEP and EPA says about. Doing yeah. that. So, I mean, someone right. would have to tell us. Right. Typically, it's overflow. So, what I think we're doing, we try to do as much as we can on site. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's what I said. Yeah, they're supposed to do more. I thought you're supposed to maintain it on they're site. Really on site, and then sometimes we have an overflow. You know, right. Yeah, they could have yeah. that. Yeah. So, I, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem, but I don't know why we would incur the cost. Understood. Right. I mean, if the they if they want to if they want to do that instead of putting, I mean, they can, you know, I I have no no idea what the capacity of the system is, mm -hmm. you know, are they looking at putting one gallon a minute or are they looking at putting five hundred gallons a minute, right. you know, without knowing answers to that, you know, who who would be responsible for, um, you know, if you, if you had somebody have to jet rod it on, you know. And sure. they'd have mm -hmm. to suck out the catch space. Is yeah. that something that they would maintain? Is that they're looking for the town to maintain sure. it? All those things I think have to be talked about before. Yep. Or do you have one of those vortexes that spins out the dirt before you send it down to the mm -hmm. to the river? I yep. mean, I, I would think you probably have to do that because they don't want they don't want dirty water going down yeah, into the river. Right. Heaven forbid, dirty water going to the river right. or so. <laughs> definitely do it over an acre, so they get to do a swim. Right. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they have to talk. I mean, if they want to talk about it, I don't have a problem. But there's a lot of stuff I think they still need sure. to fill in. I think the request, if I could, Mr. Chair, uh, mm -hmm. to Tom's point, the request was to, to talk about it. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. That makes sense. <clears throat> Do we need an official uh I don't know if we need a vote, vote with respect to this. Probably just you know? No. Consensus, really. Just consensus yeah. on that. Okay. No, that makes sense. It's a good point in the project to do it, obviously. Right. So. I may simply find the first roadblock is the person at the end of the phone who goes, what, are you out of your mind? Yeah, right. We don't know that. But you gotta, you, gotta at least, you gotta at least ask the question, yeah. right? Yeah, That is very true. <clears throat> oh, there he is. Hey. Um, all right. Do so we have anything else on 120 North Main? Uh, no, just again, there's an update meeting tomorrow if anybody's interested. Uh, right. It's downstairs, I believe it's at 6 o'clock. And, and if you haven't been following it at all, that's a good point to pop in and get an update and see where the project is and everything, or what it's about. So, <clears throat> All right. Next on our topic is North Main Street Reconstruction Project Update. I'm guessing that's why you guys are here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where's everybody else? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what uh, well, the Patriots aren't playing tonight. So. 6.30 tomorrow night, Mr. Chair. Yep, that that's right. Okay, good. 6.30 tomorrow. So if anybody's interested, come on down. What's happening at 6.30? That it's is the uh, 120 North Main oh, Street. Oh, you're just update. correcting the time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. Now on to our North Main Street reconstruction project update. <clears throat> so what... Um, what was our latest on this, Sherry? We have, um, we have, I know we have correspondence from John Morgan in there who um, reached out to MassDOT um, to see if they would require us um, to do a full resubmission of the 25% um, design. And you also have the um, project, uh, the extra work authorization um, depending on which way you want to proceed with the project. Um, the design exception report or um, would be task one or task two is to prepare a 25% resubmittal um, for the design plans. So, so the DO, the mass dot has... <coughs> yeah, weighed in saying it is a significant change. A full resubmission of the 25% yeah. design would be required. 
because I mm. missed the last or I missed a couple of steps. What were we asking NASDAQ whether we could submit what we could? There was a. I heard about the meeting. Well, yeah. yeah okay. No. Like, so, <laughs> when, we, when we came out of the last meeting, I think we ended up with a lot less favor, a lot less That's folks true. in favor of the wider shared use path mm -hmm. and putting more pavement on the road. Mm -hmm. That seemed to be the general consensus, which is counter to past meetings where the public consensus was quite the opposite. Right. So. <clears throat> That's. Be well, would have to, to meet an extent. Yeah, yeah. we would have to yes. meet. Yes. The, no. The answer is yes. yes. They'd rather see it no. 32 feet, right? Rather than, than the share. Well, up to 32 feet, I yeah. should say. And you know, d despite I mean, you know, we've had a lot of issues in the past about our concerns about widening that and speed issues and things like that. But that seemed to be the, the consensus coming out of that last meeting. Can I just say something? Hmm? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I wasn't at the meeting. I was out of town, unfortunately, and stuff. But these two guys were here, and so. But I, I'm, I, I find it confusing that that was consensus because so many people were so against the widening of North Main. Is it that it, it's like if you have to choose between the? I think the the uh, message that was brought forth at the last meeting was to keep continuity between North and South Main Street. Both the setbacks, the sidewalk setbacks, the widths, the all of it, and that if you use the standard design of 11-foot roadways plus um, markings, and then five-foot bike lanes, you end up at 32 feet. We're going to ask for. We have been challenged with asking for a 30-foot roadway, which would be 10 and five and five and markings. That's what this request from the engineer has come forward with. The other, the sad part about the, about the, uh, if I could, Mr. Chair, the sad part about all of this, uh, Sarah, if I could weigh in on it, yeah. is that there was a fair amount of input on the front side, and we all, many of us, were in that space. I totally understand that. Um, and this, this uh, uh, design reconfiguration um, is is geared toward keeping of the keeping of the uh, feel of the wide greenways away from the road. That said, we've, we've, we've spent money on the engineering on one side, and now we're going back, and the DOT is not accepting this as a, anything other than a significant change, which is another $34,000 worth of engineering to resubmit. And hopefully we don't get bumped off the tip. That's a big risk right there. Right. That. I, it, I guess it largely stems around aesthetic issues, really, when it comes down to it. That's really, and, and I mean, I know, I think from, from an avid biking perspective, we all kind of knew that a lot of people aren't going to use that shared use. You know, if you're an avid biker, you're going to be on the, on the road. But I think also, too, a lot of us also realize that if you're a biker and you're going up and down there, a lot of the real problems aren't down on this end. It's farther up that way, which is the outside of the scope of this project. But so that was kind of where that how all this came about. <clears throat> I think there's a um, um, difference between South Main and North Main as well. That North yep. Main is just tighter, and it is. and so doing thirty or thirty two feet in uh, North Main feels a lot wider right. than it does on South Main. Yep. And, and, uh, you know, clearly the voices we heard from South Main last time were that, hey, we don't really have a problem with 32 feet. Um, uh, as we've expressed all along, 32 feet on North Main is, is going to feel um, quite a bit wider. Sure. Um, I, I guess from my perspective, um, you know, if we do go, um, um, my feeling all along has been that I would rather not see, you know, that giant expanse of, of blacktop. So if we can get down to 10 or 10 and a half foot travel lanes and um, the bike lanes on the side, um, it's going to feel like a lot of, of um, uh, pavement. <coughs> At the same time, I think it's probably going to get more use and. Um, uh, in terms of the cyclists using uh, uh, the 
bike lanes on the sides. Um, so, you know, I, I guess from my perspective, I would be in favor at this point of going with the $34,000 and, and uh, you know, doing a do-over um, here that we can do on both ends of the street, ultimately, South Main and North Main. Because I think that's another thing that was really quite clear from the previous meeting is that people wanted continuity across yep. um, Main Street, and, and that makes perfect sense to me. Does going with those dimensions, does that about the same as South Main? Does that kind of keep us in parity? I it's 28 to 30. I mean, there's a big difference. So is this curving down there, right. it's going to be a lot different. Right. You have yeah. it wide open. Mm -hmm. Right. My, my objection I mean, is 22 and a half, the narrow point now. Right. It's 22 between Demos and North Silver. It's basically 22 and a half to 26. There's a little little extra piece just right. north of my place. Mm -hmm. Other than that, it's 22 and a half to 26. Yep. I just want to make clear it's, if you go up to 32, that's going to be a sure. huge sure. change. And be uh, wide. I, I guess I'd say if you're going to do something like that, you should talk about curving all the way through it. If you want to really match, Right. And you should do. I mean, right. I still, I still would love to find a way to get to 26 feet of pavement, 10 foot lanes, 2 foot bike lanes, and find a way to get the OT to who are struggling to push hard on the shared use path. Trying to see if there's some rational reason, you know, what justifies the eight feet. Is it? I mean, can you tell me this? You know, is there a traffic number? Is there, is there some some sure. sort of guidance? You know, yeah. Struggling to get any real, real hard answer. Right, like what is it based off of from a scientific perspective? Well, I, I encourage, uh, and maybe John, maybe John's exhausted and doesn't think there's any, any avenue. I've talked to BHB and I've talked to um, uh, Rubido and I'm pushing to see, to see what, if there's a win win somewhere in here. Sure, right. The other, the other comment I made is I mean, I know that CHA was at 100% design pretty close before we made the switch. Right. So, I mean, compared to the it should be fairly easy to pull out unless they don't do backups. <laughs> <laughs> and if they don't, that says a lot of other things about them. What they have in the original, they had 30. I mean, that's why we started Correct. all of our objections, because they had 30 something feet. And, right. and they had that all done, I think. Sure. I thought it was almost at the end. So, so. Right, that's what we were looking so, at. So, why should it cost 34000 to, uh, you know? recreate that that was already done yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll drill down on that we have a, the proposal right here resubmitting is one element and then of course task two is is the scope for the the whole thing um dan what's the minimum on bike lane width can we go down to four that's one of the exceptions that was discussed i think yeah it would be i mean the other thing i was saying is if we do the other thing if we're doing sharrows on south main we're not doing bike lanes over right. there so, mm -hmm. well, why don't we do Charles and North Main, have a 13 foot lane and be done? Nice. But, and I, so that's another question I had kind of uh, thinking about. Sure. Is it complete streets? That's, a, that's the project is to do Charles. Yeah. And that's a, I mean, the, I think the minimum on Charles is 13 foot lane. Mm -hmm. but that includes everything. So, hmm. I mean, but I realize there's, there's traffic on both, both streets. Yeah. Um, I think it's pretty equivalent, so <laughs> yeah. that means we, means we should do bike lanes over there as well and not shallows as proposed on the Kaboom Streets. Interesting. And that's a little bit of a challenge, too, is because the project was really North Main. It's not like we're, you know, we're, like you said, we're doing some complete streets on South Main, but South Main isn't part of the project. Right. Oh, no, complete streets, well, come shallows yeah. is on complete streets. It's separate, but right. consistency is all. It is, yeah. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I guess, I guess I, I, you know, I would want to like keep fighting to not <laughs> get North Main to 32 feet. Uh, that seems uh, like I, I, I appreciate the, you know, from the historical perspective of wanting to keep the um, linear common the way it is, but um, but I think that widening North Main would like be a serious blow to the um, town, I really do. And it's gonna take away a lot of green, of the green too. Sure. Um, so 
I don't know if if we're if we are going to have to like go back around and ask for another exception. I think we should be fighting for you know some kind of a exception to the yeah. Not just going back to the the original design we rejected in the first place. Because I think either way we're going to lose green. Right. It's a matter of where we lose it. I think and minimize <coughs> right and minimize it and then you know in a way it's to an extent you don't know until you actually do it, is if we widen it in Main Street, what's it going to do to the speeds and the other things? You know, you don't have to, you don't have to wonder. You can go, on, you can go on Google right now mm -hmm. and look for traffic, go to the Department of Transportation, the Federal Department of Transportation, and they will tell you traffic calming. How do you ob obtain traffic calming? You don't widen the road. <laughs> right. Okay? And and I and I and so I easy. hope yeah. that the people that that um, came a couple weeks ago and and led to led the charge to say that was okay to go up to 32 feet understand what they're saying because if you if you go go on and I and I have it right here if I call it right here and I just went on Google and I I typed in. Uh, traffic Department of Transportation traffic calming devices. They call it dieting. Okay, mm -hmm. and I talked to I talked to civil engineers. I, I have the opportunity to talk to civil engineers all the time, and and they will tell you the same thing. Widening the road will increase speeds. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why they narrow it. Like if you look, especially and, coming into and, Northampton, um, I just from the and, south, and I just and I, I I you know I I don't. Personally, I don't. I, I'm. I'm the thirty-four thousand whatever dollars to me is is troublesome because I don't think there's a whole bunch that they have to change. Because sure. mm -hmm. we were almost here. We were almost there last time before we asked them to go back. Right. So I, I think we can negotiate that. Sure. Like like everything, there's no such thing in this world as there's always negotiation. So I would negotiate with them, and and Sherry probably can negotiate pretty well. If she, and if she doesn't can't negotiate, I'm sure Scott can. And if Scott wants doesn't want to try it, I'll try it. And then David, but I'm pretty sure that you can no negotiate that thirty-four thousand dollars down. Yeah, I don't have a problem. I, I guess my my biggest concern in is when when your when when your gut tells you not to do something and you do it anyways. Sure. I, I've generally found that when I don't listen to my gut is when I get in trouble. <laughs> Just from a personal perspective, you know, that's when I get in trouble. When I overthink it, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I, I see, and and and. And, and I'm and I'm not a civil. And, and civils to me are, are they they play with little ants that move dirt around. Okay, and, and they they look they look from the ten thousand foot level and they look down and they and they do. I think they see ants and they and they they see how things move around. That's not that's not what I do. So I talk when I have a question about civil, I ask a civil, and that's what they tell me. I, I have not not one of them told not one civil engineer. Has told me that, and I won't say companies that I don't respect because yeah. that would be bad. But, but not one of them has told me that widening a road so makes the speeds go down. Yeah. And and and, <clears throat> and so, to me, it had been nice to have the discussion. It would it would have nice to been to have that discussion the other night um, about what what our concerns are. If your concerns is purely about the the green not not losing more green mm. okay then then let's have that discussion but to say that your speeds are going to decrease by making it wider that's not true yeah that's not a good technical argument <laughs> so I mean yeah but I, but again I don't have I don't have a pro I don't have a problem um, under the right circumstances and and I I still don't I I still rather see but like Gary said, the ten, the ten foot, or ten and a half, because I guess you can go. If you have this, and 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 I'll tell you, I can. I learned a lot about double lines versus single lines, about um, a a, sol a four inch line versus a six inch line, and 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 if someone reads about this stuff, all of that matters, and 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 there's such suggestions about oh well we'll paint we'll paint the thing. Uh, mm. Maybe you, you probably may think twice about painting it because there's there's drawbacks to painting. Yes, there are. I mean, it, yeah. maybe it, uh, uh, you know it's a suggestion, but 
you know, you talk to the professionals, and there are professionals out there, and, and, and I was amazed when they just told the difference between running a single line, a single line, a single yellow line down the road causes people to go faster than if there's a double line. Right? I, I mean, now, I didn't know that before, before I read it, and I didn't know a four-inch line, you're better off to have a six-inch line than you are to have a four-inch line. And because it's a, there's something it's a about the visual view. thing yeah. and about like you're going across a, a, a driveway or a, a road, it's better to have brakes in the line than no line at all. So all of this stuff, all of this stuff matters. Um, and people spend their life doing that. Yeah. Yep. And studying it, writing about it. And yeah. yeah. No. Nope. All right. All right. I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> At least a little bit, anyway. Oh, right? I, I, <clears throat> no, I, yep. I, I it, it, it's, it's tough to have a conversation <clears throat> when you already made up your mind. Good point. Yes. Yeah, yeah I just think we can find a way to win-win. I really encourage that. That's what I'm looking for. I mean, I know the time is of this. I don't want us to get off the tip. I feel badly that it's taking this long. And yeah, it is. All that, but uh, definitely like to, if there's any way we can find an answer that works for everybody. <clears throat> So I guess like what's our next physical step here at this point is to um, talk to them. I I, okay. I think we have to negotiate, try to negotiate the price, the price down. down, and I think you have to go and try to get it at ten feet instead of eleven, and yeah. or go to four foot instead of five foot, or a combination we're, of the four, right? Or, yeah, or start exactly. with a combination right. of both. S shrink everything we can to right. you know get and, and under thirty feet. That and maybe we have to go. And maybe and, and maybe we have to go with radar signs and 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 and, yeah. and some I, other methods. Hey, More creative. Calling at the ends. Yeah, right. Yeah, something. Well, you know, we could be really groundbreaking and push drone usage for traffic. For you. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's coming. Whether whether people want to admit it or not, that there's already towns talking about doing that. Well, it begs, so it, it'll be up. It begs the question in some ways. You know, we're we're every time we go about this. We know that we have a submission and a review and a public comment period every single time. Yep. So the pendulum has been what we were one flavor 18 months, 24 months ago, another flavor 18 months ago, a flavor for a year. Now we're going back to flavor of 24 months ago. It seems like there's a fair amount of just wheels turning for the sake of wheels turning. Yep. And in, in these in these discussions, we can ask for those exceptions. We can do all those things, right? That makes makes perfect sense. Go ahead and do it. But another period of time has gone by. So at some right. point, because we don't have a local contact here, this design goes to the Boston DOT. Doesn't happen around here. It's not. Yep. It goes to both. Yeah. It does. They both weigh in for every project. Yeah. And John does say here that he's reached out to the <clears> district. <throat> To to see if they would accept a design exception, um, but he hasn't heard back. But I'll, I'll so follow. maybe reaching out to District Two to take Sherry, a walk Sherry, on Main Street is simply that, worth what, doing. That's where yeah. I, I the hurt. one the yeah. one thing that instead of him just talking, <clears throat> instead of the engineering <clears throat> guy just talking to him, maybe David has to talk to him to chair the select board and, and and say, hey, look, you know, I understand, you know, what you said, but you know. This, these are our concerns, yeah. you know, yep. and, and may, maybe David needs to talk to him with, with the uh, engineering folks mm -hmm. and, and just say, you know, Dave, David right now is mm -hmm. the chief, chief elected officer in town and, and just go and say, hey, look, you know, we don't have mayor, but we have, we have chairs of boards of selectmen. Right. I'm telling you what people in my town are saying. Right. And, and this, is our this is a major concern. Great mm -hmm. point. Speed is a major concern. And I think it's been that way since day one. Since we started, right? and that was always a very big concern, is that well, you know, when you start going with the standard designs and everything, it's it's going to widen it a lot. And and they went through the same thing in Belchertown when they did that whole stretch um, through there, and they managed to keep it down a lot and still keep some of the scale. Wouldn't be bad to get a fresh set of eyes, just somebody who knows a bunch of these, knows complete streets, knows just to walk up and down. And yeah, pick right. Brain. right. Before before you. Sure. So you go. Right. And, and I also think if, if you have a bureaucrat talking to a bureaucrat, what you're going to get? A bureaucratic answer. Yep. Well, I mean, you know. I mean, it depends what you get. You get I just. Well, it's easier for them to say no. Right. No, I mean. It's easy to say no. It, it, look, we, we like to make it a little bit different. No. 
but I don't. I don't have to think about it. Right, because there's less work involved. Right. I don't have to. I don't have to think about it because I don't have to worry about my boss coming back and saying, "Well, what the heck did you guys do here?" Look, and you know, this is ten foot. It's supposed to be eleven or. Yeah. 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 That's why I have to care. Three foot bike lanes. I think. I mean, from a driving on the road perspective. With, with, without it, without it's it, better it, than what we have now. Yeah. Um, you know, is it ideal? No. Yeah. Um, but if you were to do something in the four foot range, yeah. um, you know, that would be perfectly fine for I think most of the riders who are using that that route. And um, as Peter said uh, at the meeting the other day, you know, that would feel really good to him. You know, Peter uh, Gagarin who rides that all the time, that would feel really good compared to what he's, what he's uh, riding on now. Would it make a difference with or without curb? I think the curb, you know, does create a bit of a, a barrier there that, that could in fact uh, be a little bit of a danger. And, and this, as Tom said, there's, there's real differences to each one of those design elements. Uh, I, I want to do a little research um, about that to figure out what that you know that curb definitely feels well, it's, it's hard. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, could you go narrow without a curb? Than yeah, with, with a curb, right? Yeah. And, and it was there was definitely some concern about that. And then it, it kind of tied into some of the European studies I was reading about how the, they were actually making the delineations less clear because it for, they feel that it forces drivers to slow down and pay more attention rather than, oh, you know, I can see out of my periphery straight curves. I'm just going to pound the pedal and blast through. So anything that we can do maybe to make people slow down and think and look might help. <clears throat> Plus, if somebody has to get forced over because somebody is like te texting on their phone or doing something and they weave over, yeah. you hit the You're curb. Going off of right, the bike was, at that point. At least I've if done you, that. Yeah, uh, and if you've got a yeah, and if you at least get a soft exit, you can kind of go up and right. sort of mountain bike it out and stay alive, you know. But yeah. So I guess yeah, let's see if we can get that going, and then let me know if you know I need to come down. If we need to bake something to entice them to come to the meeting, <laughs> I'd be glad to do that, you know. <laughs> but and, and so it would seem, as I read that description, it would seem that the exceptions we'd be looking for are not only the travel lane width for the cars, Bicycle but lane if there's an opportunity to reduce um, the width of the bike lane to yep. something reasonable. We don't want to, you know, you can't call a two-foot strip a bike lane, but a four-foot strip? Right. What's your negotiating strip, range? Um, you know, you you probably could, and so I would definitely um, uh, worry that dimension as well to try to get down somewhere under thirty feet um, total. See, and I, I think I think you're you're, you're you're I mean that that would be a tack I would talk with with uh, DEP about, and 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 my and the reason I would use is that. We're talking about what two miles a road, mile and a half a road. Mm -hmm. um, so you're talking. So you're you're talking about you know if, if you had an extended, if you had a, a, a five or six or seven mile, you know, bike path, it'd be nice to have five feet. Um, but I think as you got a short, you got a, sh a very short, you got sure. a very short amount of, of distance, relatively speaking, that four foot is a lot better than a in a five foot safety wise because people won't be able to have. They, they, they won't be lulled into a false sense of security when they get exactly. past that. And Tom, that's yeah. a really good point because we had a rider on one of our tours last year heading up to Brattleboro, Vermont, and for a stretch, a stretch of 142, 143, I forget which one it is up there, um, you've got this wide shoulder. And suddenly, it, it, just as you hit a hill, it drops down to about a foot and a half. And this woman was not all that experienced. She came <coughs> off of this wide shoulder into a very narrow shoulder, um, hit the guardrail, um, broke her arm, broke, you know, she was in the hospital for quite a bit of time. And it was that transition from this wide thing sure. to nothing sure. um, that really threw her off. And, and so I think your point is very well taken that recognizing the limits of this project um, and what we're going to be dealing with, you know, once you get up past 
um, sure. you know, past the intersection, um, having something that's a little more reasonable transitioning between makes a lot of sense. You just raised a really uh, descriptive, um, a really good description of where a project ends, right? The standard design at that point implemented in 19 blah, 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 <laughs> was that width. And the project ended there. That's why you just lost four feet of bike ramp. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And ended yeah, up yeah. in the guardrails because there's no continuity across the, yeah. the whole. That discussion came up as part of the larger discussion here. Or where, where does it end? Well, it ends just like, like near Claybrook. Like Claybrook and yeah. then it's back to what you got. That's a really important factor. Good point. <laughs> okay, so we have a little homework to do. Yeah. Chair, if I could, Mr. Chair, there's a, there's a question here. We have documents about a peer review. This is just for review. Oh, um, that's for the um, for Lou Rubito. Got it. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. So hopefully we can keep moving forwards and find some kind of good solution to this. Especially for you know those of us who've been kind of pounding through it for the whole time. It's been a bit of a slog. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got yeah. Right. And I. It's yes. only so long you can be the school of fish, right? I like this. No, I like that. No, I like this. I was like, oh, for God. And, and I think for me personally, uh, some of my frustration was sort of, you know, the, so there were some intimations like, you know, you're not thinking about this. And it's like, well, we've been slogging through this. And we've had frustrations with the engineering firm of not, we've said before, of not being creative enough. We're willing to do that. So I think that was kind of my personal frustration was sort of like, well, you know, you're sort of coming in this late in the project. And it doesn't devalue your opinions, but you can't just expect to come charging in and, you know. I know it sounds like a broken record, but invariably yeah. we're asking for a two point something million dollars worth of money of somebody else's. Yes. People, people argue it's your money. I totally get it. Uh, but you know, it's a, it's effectively a state project, right? And I mean, we are paying into it one way or the other, so and, you know, it's okay. a whole balance. But anyway, yeah. Okay. Um, any other any other discussion on this topic at all? Or you get any interesting? Grant we, we need to we need to keep moving it forward, though. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. I don't want to slow it down at all. That's one of my concerns is with the the tip sure. and losing our. Um, I just to say congrats. For that little grant thing that I heard about somewhere, you know, so that's, that's good news. So we went to town meeting asking for 296, essentially, and we yeah, uh, essentially, and we, we got 201 in the grant round. 201, and the the product total is 295, but we have we had a previous CPA uh, grant for the trail, and there's still 20,000 um, unspent in that. So um, we'll ask to just you know put that over. Pu push that into this this you know overlapping project, yep. and then we would need to request seventy five or so in new CPA. Okay. And so this is for the continued pathway, the river walkway. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. fully accessible um, with the. Um, an observation deck. Nice. Um, the river, yeah. Yeah. And this is one of those things you step back at the 30,000 foot level and you get to see how all these pieces slowly come together mm -hmm. to make the whole area a more cohesive, livable, yeah. nice place. I mean, just in short, a nice place to live, to walk, to bike, and to be. So nice. it's good. Is there a timeline for execution? Yes. Um, it's a two. Don't say March first. <laughs> so it's a two-year program, but half of the first year is over already. <laughs> um, so it's this fiscal year is for design. So that that should be um, happening over the next six months. Right. Um, and then the the it's fiscal year nineteen for the execution. Got it. Mm -hmm. So we need to be hustling on engineering RFQs, all that now. Like now, now, if you're doing nineteen. We can't do anything without contract documents from the state, so we, hmm. we're waiting. Yeah. <laughs> waiting hmm. on the state. Oh, okay. I mean, we have Still official work, but we, need, we can't proceed without contract documents in place. So. Got it. But still, congratulations to everybody who worked on it. It's a nice piece of work. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, I have one um, brief thing to say on another topic. Is that another? Yep. Um, um, 
We, this could be our public comment period before we do our... Sounds like a good jump. Sounds good. <laughs> nice segue. Just briefly, um, uh, I sit on the Community Preservation Committee, uh, and um, as you know, we're currently without a chair. Um, and um, so I just, I just wanted to, I don't know if you had, had any thoughts about that. Um, I, I haven't heard anything, but I would be willing to organize the meetings. I, I talked to Jennifer Uncles about if she would co-chair with me, and she said no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she would be willing to um, keep doing the financial part. The, the, the accounting part is what just is over my head, that it's been very, very, very difficult, and I, I don't have a grasp of it. So that's why I would hesitate to um, chair. But she said she, she's been dealing with the accounting part, and she can keep doing that. And I would be willing to kind of move the meetings along and and keep keep the committee functioning. Um, but I don't know if any if any anybody else had just talked call, about. Just call a meeting. Yeah. So yeah, just, I just, a, just call a meeting. Yeah. yeah. That's all you have to do, Sarah. Okay. Just just talk we, to. Just talk I just didn't to know if any if you all had had any other thoughts about it or. No, um, just call, just call okay. a meeting. So I'll do that. We'll be discuss that as a committee. Okay. You guys short a person now or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's another thing we could so use. Somebody's interested in listening? They could join? Yes. <clears throat> yes. Not Dan. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah. you can if you want. <laughs> 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 All right. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thanks, so uh, thanks so much. Board updates? Uh, a couple of things. One, one is uh, I like to offer my. Uh, the and my board's uh, condolences to the Ahern family. They lost uh, their sister Mary the other the other day. Mm -hmm. Mary, uh, if you had the pleasure to know Mary, she uh, I don't ever recall a frown on that lady's face. She was a hard worker. Uh, she was a rock. She um, you just I she was amazing, an amazing person. She raised two lovely daughters um, that. Um, I had the opportunity to coach Megan and been around Megan quite a uh, quite a bit and she's up she was always a uh, um, a great person to be around to have on your teams um, and I think when a lot of times when I was coaching with other coaches a lot of time we pick parents necessarily <laughs> and, and um, I always tried to get Megan on my team because of her mom and Megan, but uh, she, I just so I would like to offer my condolences to the uh, the Ahern family. Um, also, the um, we have entered uh, 2018, the year of our uh, town's founding in 1718 in right. November. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that are scheduled to start happening. Um, if uh, <clears throat> if you're interested in participating, or if you, I mean, or, or if you're if you want to um, uh, help, uh, they're always still looking for people. If you have an idea that you want to do something, uh, meetings are usually the first uh, Thursday of the month. They will be having one the 11th because of the snow, so they will be having one this this Thursday. Um, if you want, I'm sure. Uh, the committee would be more than happy to uh, to fill you in on what's happening, um, but I know the the parade is the uh, that June 16th, 17th. There's 15th, 16th, 17th. There's a lot of things happening that date. Um, there's also the uh, they're going to be a ball, a formal ball, November okay. 11th. Um, those are just a couple of things, but we're going to have the Ghost of Sunderlands are going to make our reappearance, I believe. Uh -huh. um, so there's a lot of things that are happening. So okay. just stay tuned. There's a couple of things that will be happening at the, uh, the elementary school. So beware. Celebration's coming. Celebration's coming. <coughs> um. Scott, you other, other oh, no, I, I, I piled right in on the first two, yeah. Mr. Chair. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, Actually, maybe there is one more thing. Yeah. I just, I, before this meeting, I came from the Frontiers Capital uh, Subcommittee meeting, ah. and uh, that was over at the high school, and that's a working group that's trying to um, 
part and parcel out the capital request and the funding mechanisms and definitions. So yeah. it looks like it's a good working group. It's a cross section of elected officials as well as uh, people from the uh, regional high school system. So we'll be make sure to keep the board updated on the progress. This was our kickoff meeting and no one threw any <coughs> shoes, so it's all good. That's a good start. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. <laughs> um, I, the only update I had is we had a uh, personnel committee meeting, so we're making some good progress on trying to come up with, uh, I mean, we have to do our adjustments and things, but also coming up with a better system to do it. Um, so I think we're making some good progress there. And it's, it's a challenge, I gotta say, in terms of getting data from other, and this is why, I, I, as a personal peeve, I really think there really should be a common database for this information where it's stored and where people can access it but that doesn't doesn't seem to want to exist because you're essentially every time any given town wants to do this they have to reinvent the sure. wheel or hire somebody else to do it and there's got to be a better way but anyway but we're making some good progress on on some of the aspects of it and we'll be coming up with a list of items that we need to adjust and and a schedule and things like that so we're trying to trying to get it and we did our cola uh recommendation mm -hmm. for this year so it's based on our formula it's two percent so mr chair if i could for one second yeah um i i, I just like to revisit um what was said earlier about uh, the north main street reconstruction mm, yeah. and and i and i and i i hope um no one would would take what was said earlier as uh questioning someone's their opinion um, but I, I would hope um, one, one of the things that that I have found by sitting up on this at this table is that sometimes there's you, you have to you have to have a full conversation to understand or to get the, all the ideas out there and and I and I understand that um, when when there was a town meeting um some things were said at the town meeting or the special town meeting people weren't aware of it they started talking and 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 there was a lot of conversation offline about what was being done i'm just you know if we decide if, if its final decision is that that we want to go with a 32 foot that's that's fine as long as long as and this is the hard part, as long as people understand that there has to be a, a, a dialogue, there has mm -hmm. to be a conversation. Sure. And, and I would ask people um, that, that they, they need to do, I would request they do, I would suggest they do, a little research and a little reading. And, and, sometimes, and sometimes we may, we, we, we may think something um, and, and it's not and it's not that it's wrong or, or wrong or right, but something like traffic studies and 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 road use and car speeds and and calming devices, it, it's been research, not only in this country but in Europe and, and Asia, and, and all over the world, yeah. and and sometimes things are counter counter um, intuitive. I would agree, especially and, and some of the reading I've done on that. Yeah, they are. They're, 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 it's counterintuitive, um, but I would ask that that they talk. You know, they they would talk to people that they may know that that are that are skilled in um, in road construction or or design, or they research. You know, go online and research. Um, and and I I think having that conversation. Um, what I've always found is if you have this conversation with same-minded people, you're going to have same, the same sure. Echo results, yeah. the same result. And, and why I appreciate my time with Scott, Mike, David, uh, and the other selectmen is that we've always, as a group, no matter who sat at this table, we've always, Tony Leger, John Fields, mm -hmm. We've always had the opportunity to to have those discussions, and 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 people may not realize it, um, but a lot of time, a member of this board may take a divergent view than what just so that a, an argument or a discussion point can be thoroughly dissected. Yep. 
that's important. It is. It makes you think sometimes in ways you wouldn't always. And 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 think. And, and and I and I've said it before. And I will say it again. Sometimes we start a discussion, and and you would swear that we were all on the same side, or. Scott thinks one way, David thinks the other, and at the end of the conversation, David's thinking the other yep, op- other reason, some... and Scott's and Scott's changed his opinion. Yep, that has happened. Um, but that's, I think, that's what helps come out with a good, um, a a good result is because we take the time and we explore those, um, all, many options. I'm not gonna say all options, but many of the options. And again, I would say the same thing. I, I, I would hope people would take, take and, and I guess I feel strongly on this um, because of my, the research I have done. And my research tells me, and, 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 I'm, and again, the re- and, and I, I don't have a problem having this conversation. My research has told me just the opposite of what people said at that meeting. Sure. And, and the people I've talked to have told me just the opposite of what was said at that meeting. Well, and I think one of the things you got to think, remember too, is is that as much as aesthetics play a part in it, it's also a piece of functional equipment, for lack of a better way to put it. You know, it, it, it's infrastructure that we have to use and rely on. So it's not we have to make get, sure it works. It's not going to get rebuilt anytime soon after. No. Exactly. <laughs> so, you kind of have one shot live, at it for a while. You're going to live with that change for a generation. Right. And I think in the end, we're all trying to get to the same place. Yeah. So. Well, well put. And again, I, I just, I just, I, it's. Not, I, I hope that if if you're listening, you don't don't misunderstand what the conversation was early. The the the, the earlier conversation was basically to say we should have more conversation, and okay. and and again, we 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 have supported you know, in in our times, you know, the town, the town, the people of our town have the final say. We all recognize that. That's right. Mm-hmm. But but it'd be negligent upon us if if any one of the three of us because we don't always have to agree on everything but if we really feel strongly or something about having the conversation to have that conversation if we didn't say something uh, bring it out there then that's poor form on our part good point um, I see we have our free cash certification up on our new business item So, we have our figure of $534,280 certified free cash going forward into our exciting budget season, right? So that's it's a good number to have. Actually, if I, if I could, Mr. Chair, that's mm. in much more in keeping uh, with a traditional free cash. Yes. This, 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 this board, uh, brought forward an explanation for the anomaly that was last year's free cash. And although we can't predict what free cash was, we were, we were near $800,000 last year. That was, we yeah. also recognize that we are between 350 and 500 historically. And this is right, right near, right near that 500 mark. Yep. It's a more com- comfortable number. I think. Well, it's, I think, I think good. it's comfortable. If I could, Mr. Chair, is is a good way to put it. But also, this is um, in, in keeping with the financial planning that we have. When you put a little free cash forward, when you manage your expenses, when you you know get reimbursed for things in the rears, like we have from the state for. We, we, we know that system. Our, our uh, work, financial working team is going to get together Tuesday, Sherry? Yes, Tuesday. Next mm-hmm. Tuesday to try to you know, dissect this to see just where they all came from and why and how it came about and, and bring that forward. That's an interesting, it's an interesting and important part of the actual budgeting process. Not just what's, what's the number. How, how did you get to the number and, exactly. and you know, what's an anomaly and what can you, what can you actually trend with? It's contrary to what you might think. But Large we, numbers aren't great. Didn't we, uh, aren't we supposed to be putting money back into uh, stabilization that we took out from one of our one we of have, our fall? We have some of that. We didn't. We didn't have free cash available. Mm-hmm. So so we have rather maybe three hundred, what five hundred and something to thousand. Yep. Our other accounts may be down a little bit because we correct. took money from them to balance our last That's budget. Correct. So we have to. And a special town meeting appropriated from stabilization as well. 
Yeah. So we have we have some of this, to... yeah, this isn't all free game. As a matter of fact, if you look at the guidelines, it's important no. to bear in mind outside of replenishing votes during the course of the year, you know, the guidelines we've established are 100 forward, 30% to operating, 30% to stabilization, 30% to capital stabilization. And that last year, I think, with the capital stabilization vote allowed us to take a little less into capital. But yeah. again, those guidelines slowly and assuredly manifest themselves. Yep. Stick to those. Yep. They generally keep us out of trouble. They keep us able to go to a mm -hmm. special town meeting and have some money. Right. So they're there for a good reason. We have a re request from the highway superintendent for snow and ice deficit spending. My God, for what? <laughs> Tongue in cheek. Yeah, one storm over and Christmas, one storm yeah. over the weekend, one storm over New Year's. And we should remember it's only January 8th. Right. right. Mr. Chair, he's, he's, George is requesting under Mass General Law Chapter 44, Section 31D, a request of $9,000. I, I would like to actually take that request. Uh, thank George for the conservative request and knowing what time of the year it is, uh, change that number to fifteen thousand dollars so that we, yep. we're not revisiting this next week. I would I would right. agree. Yep. Yep. Is it? Yeah, it's a motion. There is a second. Okay. Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, that makes sense because I mean there could be many more storms sure. to come. And it's important to bear in mind this is wages. This is not materials. Exactly. So yes. I did see the new truck out there. What a difference yeah. to lighting that I know, on right? that truck. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Yep. At first I thought it was somebody else's truck. Like <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, wow. Yeah. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah. That and the holder seems to be going by fully equipped, which is, I'm sorry, the whacker. Whacker. Yeah. I'm always going to call it the holder. <laughs> the holder. I just think. <laughs> it's not as much fun to say as the whacker. No. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Uh, Okay. I just um, have a couple of things. Yeah. Um, I'd like to request that the board authorize Paul Schroeder, uh, manager of energy services at Lower Pioneer Valley Educational Collaborative, to serve as the town's authorized agent with regard to procuring heating oil uh, for fiscal year 19. He will watch the market and lock, lock in. Um, they're shooting for under $2 a gallon. Mm -hmm. But is it's it, still kind of volatile right now, so they're watching yeah. the market before we lock into anything. Okay. Um, so have we used them in the past? We have. Okay. Used them every year since that. Okay. Got it. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And the only other thing I have is budget um, requests were due today. Um, so we've it started. Is that, time. It is that time? Yeah, we've started scheduling budget presentations, and the first one up will be the library on the twenty second. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Launching into budget season. It's a good time. Can't wait. It's our favorite time of the year. Oh, before. <laughs> All right. Um, is there a, a motion to adjourn? to adjourn? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.